guys, it's Ginger here. I'm still a little sick, so my voice has been messed up. And it is hot as heck here in South Africa. It's like almost 90 degrees or 95 degrees. So I've been trying to stay cool here. Anyways, I wanted to make a quick video to answer somebody's question that they have about songwriting. And the question is from Katie Thomas. This is on Facebook. I found this question. Hi there, I'm new to this. And although I'm having no trouble coming up with lyrics, I'm getting a bit confused about song structure because I'm starting off just writing. I end with lots of lyrics, but then I'm having trouble grouping them into a structure. Do I need to start with the structure rather than just going with what comes out of my head and then trying to group it? Helpful, helpful comments appreciated. Thank you. X. So basically the question is, you have a lot of lyrics. How do you know what's going to be the verse? How do you know what's going to be the chorus? How do you know what's going to be the pre-chorus? All that stuff. And so I wanted to share my process um, of doing that. So let's jump right into it. Basically, I am going to start with a lot of lyrics I have <clears throat> in my lyric treasure chest. This is just a bunch of lyrics I have on my computer, on my phone, that I've been writing for years. And I just always write lyrics as they go, throughout the day, throughout whatever. So I'm gonna start with a bunch of lyrics. And I'm gonna grab my guitar. I finally got this guitar back from America since I've been in Cape Town. I'm gonna start with a basic chord progression. This is one that I use a lot, so don't be surprised if you've heard it before, but that's not the point. So I'm going to have that chord progression, and I have all these lyrics. My process would include this. So I would be starting with the chorus to see which part of these lyrics should be the chorus. <clears throat> when I'm writing my choruses, you may have heard me say this, but I'll always use a note that I have not hit yet. So that's usually a high note. So for this chorus, I'm going to pick a high note. sounds very chorusy to me. So as you'll see, I start with my melody to pick out the melody of the chorus. And I'm going to, literally this is how I pick out the lyrics for my chorus. A lot of the times, I'm just going to pick out some random lyrics that match the melody. The melody is the most important thing, and that is what should not change based on the lyrics. keep all this in real time so you can see that this doesn't really take that long. So this is this is a pro tip. One of the most important things when you're writing lyrics is interpretation and that is the phrasing. And so there's two ways I could have phrased this sentence. It's nothing like it was. I'm gonna play it again. It's nothing like it was. That sounds cool, but the original melody that I came up with was. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. So 
walking and instead of singing like, it's nothing like, it's nothing like it was. Which is more danceable than, it's nothing like it was. Instead, it's nothing like it was. Those little things sound so silly, but they make the biggest difference in songwriting. In my opinion, that's what makes a song sound professional, catchy, easy to sing along to. Moving on, that was a small side note. So this is going to be my chorus. It's nothing like it was. Dun, 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 dun. And when I'm writing melodies, a lot of the times I'll just come up with a melody first before I think of the next line. So I know the first line's gonna be, it's nothing like it was. <clears throat> So that's gonna be my chorus and usually when I'm writing a song the chorus is less wordy than the verse but if my verse is not wordy and my verse has very few words then I'll have a wordy chorus or I'll have a worried verse no or I'll have a verse without a lot of words a wordy pre-chorus and then a chorus that's not that wordy so I just like to have contrast so going back to Katie's question, if you're un indecisive about what should be the verse and what should be the chorus, just create contrast. In my opinion, it really doesn't matter which lines go into the verse and which lines go into the chorus. But what matters is that there's contrast and they sound different from each other, the verses and the choruses. So with this chorus that I just chose, it's very not wordy. It's literally four lines. It's nothing like it was. Dun 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 love. Is it because I it was goodbye? That's very simple. So that means that my verses can be something more wordy. And if I go to a wordy section of my of my lyrics, then I can see that this this is the random spot. This section right here. Another pro tip is to start your verses and your choruses differently as far as the timing and where the words are placed. So, so with the verse, it's placed, I mean, with the chorus that I came up with, it's placed, it's nothing like. So it's coming in just before the downbeat. And da, downbeat being, it's nothing like it was. So it's coming in, I think on the end. Yeah. yeah, it's coming in on the and. So it's coming in just before the one. So with my verse, I want to place it differently. So with my verse, I want to place it differently. And I'm going to make it wordy because the chorus is not wordy. Go star. And this is a, this is just telling you how you pick your lyrics. And my point is it really doesn't matter as long as there's contrast between the verses and the choruses. Go, go star, go star crawling through my skin. Rattle up and down again. Pointing on. And when I'm writing, I really don't pay attention to pitch. I just kind of let it happen. Haunting me through, haunting me through all of this was my friend. Lights all burn out from the end. It's nothing like it was. Da -da 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 is it because it was goodbye? So I feel like a chorus should come again. Mm -hmm. 
So when you're writing, it's so important to just feel what should come next. Like, you've listened to a lot of music. You know what good music sounds like. So just use your intuition to say, you know, does it sound like chorus should come next? And if you don't know, then I do this all the time. Pull up a song you like or a song that you like the arrangement of and just use the same arrangement if you are indecisive and don't know what to do. That helps so much. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. It, going back to Katie's question, she's basically saying, How do I figure out what part of my lyrics should be verses and what part of my lyrics should be choruses? As long as the verses are wordy and the chorus is not wordy, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. I write songs for clients and I don't really pay attention to, you know, like, does this sound like a verse or does this sound like a chorus lyrically? I pay more attention to the melody because that is the most important part of the song. When somebody listens to your song for the first time, they're going to remember the melody much more so than what your lyrics are in, in the verse. So, this is a very simple way of thinking about it. That's the way that I do it. So, um, yeah. I talk about lots of stuff like this um, in the courses I make. I try to like teach it in a way that is easy to understand in a process so you can learn how to start a song with all these amazing great ideas and then take that into a finished song that is done. And you don't have to be in Katie's situation where you're struggling, you know, which is the verse, which is the chorus. So I have all that in my course below from idea to finished song. And for Cyber Monday, it's Tuesday today, um, for Cyber Monday, I am selling it for $14.99, which is much cheaper than the original price of $37.99, almost $40. So it's more than a 50% discount. Um, that's below. And it also comes with my 12 Methods to Melody Mastery course, which is all of the methods I use to write melodies, I never have writer's block, and they're pretty simple. You don't need music theory to use any of them. So that's below. Also comes with a PDF booklet that walks you through the From Idea to Finish Song course, telling you exactly how to finish a song, exact same process that I use to finish my songs. So that's below. Check it out. Be one of the people who changes their life from learning. <laughs> um, hope this video helps you. Happy writing. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to say, the offer is valid until next Monday, December 5th, so it'll be going back up to $37.99 after that. So the link is below. <laughs> Bye guys, happy writing.